Sam here with KWA Insider. We are here at SHOT Show 2020 and the turnout is amazing. I'm so excited and I'm looking forward to what we've got going on. We've got some new releases as well as educating people on our previously released products. So let's get to it. <laughs> so I'm here with the Ronin Tactical Series. You can see on the wall we've got a lot of things that we've already released and some stuff that we've just come out with today. So we've got the TK45C, you guys already know about it, it's a more compact of the TK45 series. We've also got the Ronin T6 TDW, I love this Ronin T6 because it's a little bit more form-fitting, a lot more my style. Also we have the TK45 which is the longer of the TK45 series but just as awesome. It has the AEG 3.0 gearbox so you have that force feedback feeling when you're playing in game. Alright, so we have some new stuff here today and I'm super excited to let you guys know about it. So we have the Ronin 47. This gun is super awesome. On top of being brand new, it is running the AEG 2.5 gearbox, so it has the adjustable FPS. So if you need to, you'll just go in behind the stock, adjust your FPS, whether it's to meet field requirements or just to have fun. This is one hot platform. Uh, from my experience, I've been playing for a hot minute. One of the fatal features of the, 40, the SR-47s are their mags. Um, they're usually kind of a pain in the neck to get in and out. That is probably like one of the smoothest features I've ever seen. I mean, it's hot. It's so out there, and I love it when AKs get mixed in with M4s. Some people don't like the hybrid looks, but anything that's unique always interests me. Absolutely. The, the philosophy of being able to, to kind of Lego build and piece together the, the parts that you like to kind of come out with your own version is really neat. I mean, the M-Lock system, so smooth, enough for a light, peck box, got sights, dope flash hider, and then the battery compartment, this is this is the hotness, because for, you know, speed TV, yeah. I think it looks badass, and I think it fills out the, the Ronin lineup uh, really nicely. I mean, it just feels great. Yeah. Weight and balance, yeah. I think one of my favorite things about it is that it has the AG 2.5, so it has yeah, adjustable. the adjustable, yes. yes. Yeah. Yep. So Definitely. if you're like at the field, or you're at home, and you're just you know, messing around. Door to indoor. Exactly. Easy peasy. All right, so next up on the list, we have the Ronin T10. I'm super excited about this gun. It's a little bit longer than the T6, so we've got a 10 inch rail instead, but it also has the AEG 3.0 gearbox, which means you're going to get a force feedback sensation when you're on the field. When I first started into Airsoft, the MP5 was huge. Revitalized the field because that's what a lot of elite forces are using. Well, there wasn't anything comparable at the time that I wanted, so I've just been waiting, and that's been like nine years. So now, KWA announced the QRF Mod 1, and I'm in love. QRF Mod 1 and the Mod 2s, that's been pretty popular. Can we walk through here and check it out? Yeah, let's go Is that, are we mobile? So right here, this got the uh, banana style nine millimeter clip. Uh, it's really easy, thumb to press, pull it out. This is a follower right here, so that the BB can feed right up into the last BB. Now, most of the time, a BB is gonna be dropping out when you pull your magazine out, but if you run out of ammo and you pull this out, you know you shot your last round. It has a nice extendable stock. These guns are starting to look like spaceships, right? It's ready to go. It's ready to go. <laughs> you can drop a gate titan in there, get ready to go, aggressive handling, and you will for sure dominate the field. It's lightweight, it's great for close quarter battle, also known as CQB out there. So those of you who are saying CQB, CQB, close quarter battle, right? That's what this is for, designed for. Uh, yeah, it's, it's super compact that's it. and just great for very close quarters. Yep, that's and that's awesome. the, my primary reason why I like it. You guys already know about the Mod 1 and the Mod 2, so let's get into the QRF Mod 3. It features ambi controls, an M-Lock rail style, and it's super awesome. It runs the AEG 2.5 gearbox, so you have adjustable FPS, and you really get to slay on the field. It reminds me of the MP9 style magazines with the ridges on it, which is interesting. We noticed that it's very similar to the, the MP9 style. Even though, yeah, it is a different system, but it has that same form factor, so I like that little callback. You know, the, the QRF was an exciting release in 2019. I thought both of those were very popular. We've already started modifying them, so clearly people want them. Uh, and coming out with another version of that to give people even more uh, you know, unique ways to use that platform I think is really exciting. The Mod 3 looks really, really dope, but I think the T10 and the new gas systems on y'all's uh, LM4s. LM4s, I might have to mess with that in my training division, so Absolutely. I might have to go there next. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll so, head over there. Alright, right on. 
So I'm here with James. We're going to be talking a little bit about the law enforcement side of KWA. With most airsoft guns, obviously realism is a big deal. KWA has realized how important that realism is and has transferred that into your standard airsoft rifle now into a training tool for less lethal options. So this is the new LM4D series rifle. And the LM4D kind of is the next step of the LM4 line. For almost 20 years, the LM4 gas blowback system has never been updated. So this is the first time it's getting updated bolt. So adjustable and pass style bolts. It will lock back to the rear. All the manipulations, all the one-to-one -one ratio is still the same. Even if I throw the bolt forward without shooting the gun, the reaction is still pretty realistic. Now you don't need to take off the outer barrel to replace the hop-up. We're going with polymer mags now instead of the metal uh, GI style mags. It's going to insulate the gas better and we drop down from 40 rounds to 30 rounds to mimic a real capacity uh, rifle magazines. You can put real steel parts on there right. and it not only immerses you because of the gas blowback, but you can really put on the attachments that you would have on your actual gun right. onto here. Because you can actually yeah. break it down, open it up. It has a bolt just like a real M4, which I think would kind of add to the realism of the uh, experience. And, it's yeah. all about immersion. Some agencies will use simunitions, which is a fine product, but it comes with a different set of limitations that aren't seen in airsoft. There's a safety equipment mandate, certain standoff difference distances you have to use. Airsoft doesn't have that. The simunition, it makes it uh, pretty tough having to go and having to buy the specialized barrels and then special magazines and then it's a lot more expensive. If your agency is using sim rounds, you can save much more using airsoft because currently it's about a dollar per round. With airsoft, Depending on the package that you get, you can get up to 25,000 rounds and it'll be cost effective for your agency. I can practice with very, very cheaper pricing, ammo. Yes, <laughs> save money. way cheaper. Yes, yes. <laughs> and when you're talking about an agency, maybe a smaller agency, a smaller city or county, where their budget is really limited, you're really trying to maximize your budget and also training. So really what amazes me about these guns is that they feel so real. The, the weight, the feedback that you get, everything just feels very real to real steel. Right. I can really feel it's like, when I close my eyes, I feel like it's my real gun. Wow. But it's an airsoft steel, <laughs> you know? <laughs> when I see that, oh, it's airsoft. <laughs> There's a lot of times these BB guns or whatever, the simunition, they just feel cheap and I've used some before and they just break. Never seen anything like this before. People come up here and they ask me, what caliber is this rifle? <laughs> and I, I tell them it's six millimeter BB. So <laughs> this will be available in 2020. Uh, specifically for law enforcement, we'll have another model without the adjustable FPS. Try to, to our best ability, try to maximize products, but minimize the spending. That sounds legit. <laughs> KWA has consistently made high quality, excellent externals that are well thought out. Um, and it, that's, you know, it's no surprise that you guys are coming out with even more uh, well thought out products. KWA has actually, actually been one of the first brands I really got into. Uh, ever since they opened their doors and actually was able, able to be one of the few people to get inside and get a sneak peek on some of the new products coming out, I just love them. I love the, I own uh, two RM4s, I own two MP9s. I don't know why, but I have them, I love them, they can't break. Yeah, I started out when I got in the military and I didn't want to forget muscle memory from what I've learned. I started with a different brand, didn't like it, and then I heard about KWA and then poof, here I am. The difficulty in Airsoft is wanting to come out with new products um, and, and finding the balance between coming out with what you think will sell and what customers want and what players want. One of the most impressive things is how often KWA is pulling their customers and players and producing things that, that people are asking for, people want. And so I think this year's releases are a reflection of that. My personal favorite would be the Ronin 47. Everybody yes. is looking at it, the fuss is just crazy and it's great. It's my favorite gun, but everybody else is going crazy for the Mod 3. The Mod 3. Yeah. <laughs> the LM4? Yes, that's that's the one. Like, I know sure. I know it's not fully ready yet, <laughs> but I saw it. I, I saw the new hop-up system you guys have in it. You don't need a key anymore. That's that's the one that really sticks out to me the most. Probably the Ronin 47. You know, it's funny you say that that's your favorite, but you're really hugging onto that okay, Mod 3 well, here. Yeah. <laughs> 
right guys, so that just about sums up our SHOT Show 2020. What did you think about our newest guns? Let us know in the comments. We had the QRF Mod 3, the Ronin 47, and the newest T10. All amazing guns, as well as our LM4 platform. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. We're going to be coming out with way more videos. Thanks for watching.